the single mode fibres are far more effective at transferring information. This is a sample of the fibre as well that I got. That's, um, this is actually your NBN cable. There it is for scale against a fingernail. I'll take out the fibre itself. There's your NBO fibre optic cable. This is the one that's buried underground. That is the fibre optic cable. Look, your eyes are probably better than mine. How many cables side by side are in there? As you can see, they are all colour coded. I make it about 8 to 10, but I'll put up a photo if I can later from a macro app on my phone. So, that is single mode optical fibre. It's got cladding around the outside, but it's inside a protective sheath. As you can see up here, that protective sheath is nylon. And that nylon is there, I'm going to take it out, take out the fibre out of this end to resist bending. As you can see, I'm currently trying to bend that in half by hand. The other advantage of nylon, it's incredibly slippery. When you're dragging this through cable trays, nylon has an incredibly low coefficient of friction. Nylon is strong, it's tough, it has a low coefficient of friction, it's water resistant, it is a perfect choice for protective sheath for fibre optics. Let me turn out the light, let me show you what fibre optics looks like. I'm just going to shine a um, light down one end of that cable with my phone. You can see when I get it in the right position, there's the light physically travelling down our NBN optical fibre. This is visible light across a, way, a range of wavelengths. Please note that optical light coming down an optical fibre, as you can see, it's picking up the multiple actual fibres as I'm waving it in front of the light. Please remember, optical fibres transmit more or less at one frequency, not across the entire range of light. They also transmit in infrared or near infrared. They are not really travelling at the blue end of the spectrum. Let's have a look at why. 